welcome back to Toy Notes. I'm Kelsey and today we're putting a new twist on an old favorite with Uno. So make sure you subscribe to our channel now that way you don't miss out on this fun game time. So guys, today we're playing with the Uno attack game. I think everybody remembers playing Uno. I think it's something that comes out a lot in families even today because it's a classic and it's not one that's gonna destroy your family like Monopoly can. Bad, <laughs> bad family game times with Monopoly because the father's not very good at it. But Uno was always a great memory and that's what we're getting to play today. Uno attack and ends up Ending, adding in a element of surprise into Uno because not only can you get dumped on by your fellow players with lots of cards, Uno itself can choose to attack you with all kinds of cards that now you have to get rid of. So let's go ahead and get it unboxed. That way we can play and you guys can play along with me. Okay, so the Uno Attack game is all unboxed and I have my instructions. It says that it's rated for kids seven and older, although I think we've all played Uno and it's pretty self-explanatory. The only thing you've got with the Uno Attack is you've got some slightly different cards and the element of the machine where you take a card and you could get a whole bunch of them. So the instructions say that I'm going to need to put three C-size batteries into this unit here. Um, the battery compartment's on the bottom, and this little top kind of just slides on and off to put the cards in. So my three C batteries, and then it explains the cards, which there's a couple of different ones. I'll show you guys in the closer look, but it looks like there's there, it's pretty standard. Um, and then there's instructions inside here about how to put the cards in. So it looks like you kind of set them in like that, maybe. All right, well obviously I'm trying to do that thing where I always like half read the instructions because I'm terrible at reading instructions. Um, but we'll go ahead and put this together. I'll go round up some batteries and then you guys can come in for your closer look. Okay, so closer look at our Uno attack game. Um, you have the game unit here, which requires three C batteries to operate. Basically, it's classic Uno. I have all the cards in the unit right now. You kind of load them in the unit underneath this little tongue piece because it's gonna shoot the cards out. So I'm gonna just take a few out for demonstration purposes. And place this back, just like so. So everybody's gonna start with the classic seven cards. They're all in order. <laughs> I didn't shuffle them. Um, but anyway, so you start with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everybody gets those. And then you have your classic discard pile. Now, if you can't match up the color or the number, then you have to press the button. Don't forget to turn it on though. So starting back where we were, I have my seven cards and my discharge pile. And say I couldn't match this up, I would have to press the button. And it makes a little chime noise. Now at this point, I got really lucky because I didn't get a bunch of cards. But if you keep going around the table and everybody has to press, it's like Russian roulette with Uno cards. Woo! There's a bunch of them. So it'll shoot out, doesn't have a specific number. Sometimes you get a whole bunch, sometimes you get two or three. But anyway, that is how the UNO attack works. It kind of adds an element of surprise to the classic gameplay. And the goal of the game is again, just like classic UNO, get rid of all your cards, call UNO before you discard the last one, but also to get to 500 points. And you calculate the points based on all the number cards in your opponent's hands collectively. So that might take a couple of rounds to get to, but it does add a little extra flair. Well guys, playtime with Uno Attack has come to an end. I hope you guys had fun learning along with me to play this game. I really think this puts a new twist on an old classic and it brings new life into to family game night. While this one's not quite as travel friendly as original Uno game considering it's more than just a deck of cards, I think it's kind of nice because everything stores in nicely 
The unit itself can hold all of the cards at once. That way you're not worrying about losing things in between. The instructions themselves, I'm not really sure. You might have to just keep them with your other game instructions or tape them on or something like that. But again, they're pretty self-explanatory because it's Uno. So the only other thing I think that was a little bit of a bummer is the C batteries. I don't tend to keep those around the house. So in order to get this one working, I actually had to take a trip out to get those. They're kind of a special order kind of battery, I guess, in my house. But guys, I had a lot of fun with you today. I hope you enjoyed yourself too. And if you did, please give us a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you don't miss out on more Toy Notes fun. Also, you should check out some of the other reviews I've done on some really popular games right now, like the Pythi Showdown, to name one, and a new game called Imhotep, it's an Egyptian builder game. That one was a lot of fun too. The only way you can get those though is one, if you're subscribed to the channel, and you're checking us out at toynotes.com where I have lots more than just reviews. You'll have to check it out though in order to enjoy all that playtime. So guys, until next time, as always, Thank you and see you soon.